So I'm on the TeePublic website, and I've got a quick tip here for you. Let's pretend that I'm picking a design and I want to upload a design, but I want to do a little bit of trend research, you know, a little bit of niche research first. So I'm going to search for a design, and I've got trending searches here. And let's, you know, what I pick usually as my default is something like Funny Cat. And the reason I do that is because there's so many designs that the ones that are near the top chances are not only are they good designs but they're going to be tagged properly as well now as soon as i mention tags usually people roll their eyes and they go yeah yeah it's like doing their taxes everybody knows that we need to do tags but nobody's particularly excited about it so here's an easy way to find tags that work i'm just going to pick one of the top six designs just at random here i like this one with the the cat astronaut so i'm just going to click on that now, I'm not even going to pay attention to the design. I don't care about the design for the purposes of this video. What I really care about is as I scroll on down, what I really care about is right down at the bottom, here's the designer's applied tags. These are the ones that this user has uploaded as part of their upload. So they've got their design and they've named it but they've applied their 15 tags on TeePublic. In addition to that, TeePublic also wants to sell your shirt, so they've got things that they've entered as well. So I would encourage you every time you go to TeePublic and you're starting a new, maybe you're uploading 20 designs to a new genre, take a look at a couple of the top selling designs in that niche and see if there's new tags or tag ideas that you maybe haven't thought of. Now, TeePublic will suggest tags, but I think it's a good idea to see what the, what the big guns in the niche are doing. I'll pick another one here. I'm going to pick Soviet Union. And again, I'm just picking stuff at random, so I don't really know what's going to come up. So we've got Soviet Union. Now, these are the top designs off of a relatively popular genre. So I'm just going to click on, say, this one here is nice. It's got a heart design with the Soviet Union emblem on top of it. Pretty straightforward design. Looks good. And I'm just going to scroll on down now to the bottom. And I'm going to see here's the tags that the designer themselves have picked. So there's things that I may not think of like, oh, nationality. Hammer and sickle. CCCP, right? And then... T Public also throws in, notice here T Public has thrown in USSR, right? And the designer also applied USSR. But it may be something that if you were uploading Soviet Union designs, you may not think of CCCP and USSR. You may not think of Russia. You may only think of Soviet and, you know, maybe not Soviet Union. So it's just a quick tip to go in. Whatever you're searching for, you can scroll down to the bottom and it's kind of hidden if you're not really super you know, looking for it. But you can see here the designer's applied tags and also T Public's applied tags as well. And that helps drive search engine optimization. That's what SEO is. Whenever you hear the phrase SEO, that's search engine optimization. And it's in part driven by these tags. Quick little tip there for you. Hope that helps. T Public is often sort of the the sad little brother of Redbubble, and I get a lot of sales on TeePublic, so this is a website that I really enjoy using. Hopefully you guys found that helpful.